Hey, Brian from Roger Mahal. All right, so if you're still getting this 503 service temporary unavailable from MyCloud, um, this is the next step in a possible solution. Possible solution. Okay, so if you remember this card that you got with your MyCloud um, drive, you'll basically know that it was like kind of like an initial setup to set up a password and everything else. So how you, how you get into that is you want to go to uh, this PC and on the left hand side you're going to basically scroll down and it's going to show you all your drives that are listed there. Uh, you're going to click on network which is at the bottom and then it's basically going to show you your your network drives or any other things that can connect to a network. In this case uh, mine is called mycloud dash uh, 370795 yours may be different depending on I think this is like the serial number that that it's based on not 100% sure but anyway if you click on this if you double click on it um, it should let you into your public and your time machine backup folders uh, which I had alluded to in another video that I had made uh, previous to this one but if you go back up there's also a thing if you right click on it and you can uh, open, open a new tab. There's a bunch of different little things there that you can do. Um, you can also right click on the network icon that's at the bottom and then you're going to go to map network drive. So that's what you're looking for. So map network drive. So you open that up and it's going to bring you to this window and it's going to show you uh, map network drive. Uh, drive Z is typically what the uh, my cloud, my cloud dual, the my cloud series usually defaults to. Um, then you're going to be looking for the folder, and the folder basically is going to be the name of this drive. So you want to put uh, backslash backslash. That's a slash that kind of like leans this way. Uh, my cloud dash, and then whatever your number is for your drive, and then you're going to click on connect using different credentials. So when you hit finish on this, okay. So just again, just to review. Make sure it's drive Z, folders, backslash, backslash, my cloud, dash, whatever your number is, mine's 370379. But go to connect using different credentials and hit finish. And it's gonna say attempting to connect, and then you're gonna get a Windows security um, enter network credentials for this. Now that is basically how you access your drive. Now if you had one of these cards and you had set this up initially, you will Remember, hopefully you will remember what your login ID was as well as that code. Uh, in my case, I still can't get into my drive, but that doesn't mean that you will have that same problem. Um, I don't remember specifically setting this card up other than getting online and setting up the mycloud.com uh, online. However, next to the other way to possibly get in there by double clicking, getting into that folder, this is the other way if you remember doing the setup on your drive so you can connect it locally you can enter your username and your password uh, in my case that still doesn't get me into the drive but at least hopefully it will get some of you out in the world that are closer that are experiencing the 503 service temporarily unavailable issue that uh, I, hopefully Western Digital is working on um, it has made me really gun shy of using their services moving forward unfortunately uh, just because it's been days since I've been able to access a lot of rich video content that I use as a creator for my channel so that that becomes an issue anyhow uh, hopefully that will get you a lot further into the process and uh, while we wait for Western G Digital the uh, 18 billion dollar company to come up with uh, some sort of resolution uh, other than that we are we're kind of like at their mercy but anyhow um, hopefully this will work for you as I find out more information I will uh, have some other solutions but as of this recording uh, what I read online is they still have no resolution and a lot of the experts are speculating uh, it could take uh, days to as long as three months from now to get 95% uh, back online which which means 5% of us we may not get back online ever with these guys but um, anyway um, my backup solution that I've been working on, and I had just uh, I just gotten a couple things. I had gotten a another um, drive to install into my computer with the drive card that will uh, basically.
basically give me another backup solution. So I'll have two SSD drives, one that's going to be kind of like my backup, and then the other drive is going to be my backup of my backup. So I'm going to have like triple redundancy on my PC, as well as I'm probably going to get an external hard drive as well. Nothing made by Western Digital, unfortunately. Uh, but whatever company I could find out there that I feel safe with to do, uh, you know, almost like a quadruple backup because that's the day and age that we live in. Anyway, uh, Brian from Gradual Hall, thanks for watching. And I'll put some links to the stuff that I'm, I'm basically putting in my computer to, to help come up with these solutions. As my screensaver starts, that means I've been talking for almost five minutes. But anyway, uh, be safe out there.